Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Seattle Seahawks. With that, let's get up to Seattle. Standing by at CenturyLink Field, here are Brandon Gutton and Charles Davis. Coach, it is a sound like no other. When they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle, we just heard it, and that means it's time for football at Century Link Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State, and that's Russell Wilson. And it felt like it watching the game tape. He got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some. They threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. He didn't you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. Only a couple for him there in the game's first play and second down. And here's the starting offensive unit for Seattle. The wide receiver Tyler Lockett continues to improve as a route runner and a playmaker downfield. But let's not forget, his main use, kick returner. Knows how to break open a game in that area as well. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here we go, here we go. Here's Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Here we go. Here we go. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. Right of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. For the Eagles, a look now at the starters on the defensive side of the ball. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL, number 32 in the league. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. Line of scrimmage again, the 37 as they line up second and 10. Wilson now. Going to throw again. And he's got a first down and inside the midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46 yard line. Oh, they get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. Now that was pretty. They executed that core round versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Here's Wilson. The front door set holds it in. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Wilson, after the play fake to Carson, he's going to air one out. And that's 
it's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag Holy down. Offense. Let's check in with our referee. Well, they were looking to throw, what? holding a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep Let's your hands go. inside in the chest area. Let's go. You're probably tight. okay. You get out on the shoulders, get them wide. These are going to pick up a hold of That's complete to DK Metcalf. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Here we go. He may try and run for this. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. He'll grab three yards on the play, taking it himself for the first down. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. <laughs> From the gun, it's Wilson. He'll check that down to Carson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the quick and third the second go. down. I'm not sure if this play was designed for him specifically, but he got through the progressions, he got the ball to him. So, second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So, if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. On second down, it's Carson. And he is going to be stopped cold go, go, go. behind the line of scrimmage. That's how we do, dude. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, that happens. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. They run it with Carson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down in a few inches. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers from the left hash. It's a 42-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. To be considered for the MVP award in the NFL, it's got to be a season of not just consistency, but spectacular consistency. And he's had it all the way through. I think you're right. He's been as consistent, more consistent probably than anybody else as the numbers go out. The social media chatter for the MVP races certainly start to ramp up. I know you and I have felt that. Yeah, no doubt about it. Right now, he's in the pole position as we head down the stretch. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile. Stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Don't get nervous now. We ain't beginning. 
Working from the goal line. Reds. Well, he's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Clement. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. With the numbers for him from a week ago. 19 carries, 54 yards. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because he establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football, he gains the game, he chews up clock, and that's been a big part of why they're winning games lately. Wentz connecting with his tight end, Goddard. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Here's the offense, and sometimes you got to show love to the big guys. That you do. And we're talking about Jason Kelsey now, not Travis, his brother, who plays tight end. Jason lines up at center, a threat to go to the Pro Bowl each and every year. What we got? What we got? What we got? Wins the throw on third and one. This is caught by Jackson. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Defensively, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold the number 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives you something. You give yourself a good chance to So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, that could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. The first down one got five. Here's second and five. It's just, it's just, it's just me and you. Now Woods. Now they set up the screen for Clement. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 29-yard line. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Situation. The field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that's to be pinpoint here. Yeah, I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be hey, sharper, go, go. but it's been hey. a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Well, he's got it. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. They'll run with Clement. And they'll bring him down after just a short pick. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. It's a sneak. It's Wentz. And he's in. Touchdown. Nice Eagles. Carson Wentz taking it in. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So he's able to sneak it in and credit to the guys up front. Oh, without a doubt, because they have the leverage on this play. We always talk about low man wins and one-on-one -on -one battles. That's exactly what happened there. Their, their offensive line, lower than the defensive front. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it was capped off by the quarterback sneak for six. the 
touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. I just I like the way you you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball man to go for six. The numbers on the ground for Carson last week. 20 carries, 74 yards. This went into the hands of Metcalf. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. And that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. What? 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll run on first down. Carson. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Seahawks on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Both together. From the shotgun, Wilson. It's complete to Rocket. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 32 yard line. He's such a good route. He throws it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you at important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw is Wilson. He finds his man, the tight end Wilson. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. And he's gained at 21 yards. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he was the Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But I believe a Seahawk was able to get a handle on this, so this will remain Seattle ball. On plays like this, when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Wilson. 
some traffic somewhere, they've right. got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Right. Right. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Jatavis Brown there on the tackle. From the 31, Wilson. And they've got the hookup. This is Wilson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. On first down, it's Carson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. I got you, Pop. Here's Carson. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I know the speed is a landmark in today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now Wilson, it's caught, block it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. I think it all came together there in breaking well. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Receiver won that route early, presented himself. 
no reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's good to make it 17 seconds. So this drive spans seven plays. And all culminates with a CL score. This one taken from the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, not only a turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse Let's go. than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Corey Clement. His third touchdown now on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Elliott on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as it sails over the end line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have to be pleased with the way that they move moved the football thus far. Why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now. The field goal probably feels like a disappointment. No game in the play there. Second down. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now it's Wilson. Left side complete to Lockett. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Seahawks on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. From the gun, Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Michael On fourth Dixon down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. <laughs> he only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Here's Jackson. 49-yard punt, five on the return. And the Eagles are having it taking over first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, and their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after right now? Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by him. Now a cross of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring it out. Okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them the lead, and they feel really good about how they're playing. 
I think he expects it to at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick. Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and feel it the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Now it's Wilson. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second five after the five-yard completion on first down. Draw Kai. This is Carson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Wilson now to throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty good out there here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Carson Wentz and the Eagles getting sent to take over. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. Let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now wins. Going to go to Clement here out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As they stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. And complete to Zach Ertz. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Wentz now after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. To throw, it's Wentz. Deep ball for Jeffrey. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Now Sean Jeffrey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that cuts the lead down to just three. 20 to 17. So a big play before the end of the half to get it into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solo plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you cross-country Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll start up in the Steel City, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, where you see the final score there. A field goal, the difference. 17-14, the final. From there, we head over to the Windy City. Check on the Bears at home, Soldier Field. And they've gone to the half in that one with the visiting Saints out on top. Emmanuel Sanders, a touchdown catch in that first half. Finally, let's get over to Carson, see what's happening with the Chargers at home at Dignity Health Sports Park. And you can see there, it's the visiting Colts who have the lead in that one. The veteran, Phillip Rivers, with a couple of touchdown passes there. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? Find out. We give it back to our commentator, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis.
Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And they take it back to about the 19-yard line. We play for winners. Let's go! The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they're going to be positive. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And they see right through that That's defensive end. As he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. And we'll be a look here for the Seahawks on third down. Shotgun now for Lance. And that will be incomplete. It was Trey Flowers that time who got a hand in and broke it up. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half. Still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work. Let's go, boys! They the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Wild Bill, Wild Bill! They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 go, yards there, go, and a first go. down for Seattle. One of those red premium in the first half, but he's able to get some room there. He's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And caught left side, Olsen. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. And he lost six there on the first down play. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now it's Carson. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Hey, check my 21, my 21, check my 21. Hey, that's good. Third and long, it's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. And to the 46, he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. Give him eight on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Let's go, buddy. getting set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They're the punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On first down, they go to Clement again. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. Throwing on second and eight. Wentz. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So a failure to connect on second down. They're doing some staring up here on a third and eight. And he connects with Oates. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Let's go! Let's go! And he's the epitome of what we call the move to it in. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. This guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. 22 yards there, a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, now it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. 
Now it's thrown left sideline, and here's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for the offense. It's Clement back to the running game. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Two yards, good enough for a first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. 30, 30, 30. Wentz now on first down. Over the middle, it's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Come on, now. Let's go. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads deep. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A five-yard touchdown. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync. Because early in the game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets. And you might not block them quite the way you want to. But as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together. And that's what we're seeing. Right now. Throwing on second down. Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to run out of that one. And it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And now offensively it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, there's always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the front end the spot at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? This defense. Absolutely. Yeah, right. He's created a very long field for the offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there. Check that nicely. Good English on that cut. He's going to have the first down past the 20. And all the way up to the 21-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. A pretty good-looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they'll set up with a second and one. Brings up second and a yard at the 30-yard line. They fake the give. Now wins. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Tackled there. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. 
I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now a play fade. Wentz. That's caught by Jackson. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. They'll run on first down. Clement. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Clement. And he gets it a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the fair. Second goal from inside the five. time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. This stadium once registered as the loudest roar ever recorded and you can hear him now. Third and goal. There's Wentz to throw. Working end zone, but it's incomplete. Trojan said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points where they've had their moments, but this offense is just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do. We kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock they put themselves in a good position but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And it's right about this time of year you start to say, this is when the cream rises to the top. Week 15, three weeks left to go, but still plenty to be determined. And I think for most teams, the obvious is to try and be the number one or number two seed. But when you look at it across the league and throughout the history of trying to get to the Super Bowl, the teams really fear the ones that get hot and sometimes sneak in at a five or a six seed because we've seen those teams actually get to the Super Bowl and occasionally win it. Yeah, you think of the Giants a couple of times. Steelers have done it. You're right, it has happened and will happen more in the future, I'm sure. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a gain of 34. I know we love our jobs. But pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about it. The big players. Let's go. Nice. And that's what we absolutely live for. How about that? Oh, that was great. And what I can't even miss was the fist pump from the sideline after that. That's it. That's a big game. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Watch, watch, watch the run, watch the run. Good shot, baby, that's amazing. They run again with Carson. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Ah, now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break.
They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. And he's got it. surprise there, third and goal down here, and that's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes, because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Well, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them. Settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. They're yeah, not all that joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break. Just a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Maybe war down the other defense. We'll see. Officially, it will go as a one yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Eagles on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 11. Throwing his wins. Got a man out of the middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a game of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now, he's second and ten. On second down, Clement. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. From the gun, it's Williams. Catch is made by a single right side. And he's able to get it to the 33. Let's go. Good enough Let's go. for a first down. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Wentz going to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Unable to stop KJ right there as he slips by for the sack. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the back. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. <laughs> And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. <laughs> this is Jackson on the quick throw from Wentz. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way to lose yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. 
Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Again, it's Wins. And this is going to be incomplete. that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs blanketed everyone took away all the passing angles thus the incompletion and Elliott puts this one through and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter so the drive here ends with a field goal it does give them the lead but this one's still certainly a long way from over it definitely puts a lot of pressure on the defense to hold the lead right they're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so but I know as a former player in the back of their mind seal this thing. The Seattle Let's offense win. now set to come back out on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Will they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look nervous. And that was amazing because that drive went and went no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. And he'll be out right at the 35. And get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. He would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Yeah, I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Clock continuing to run. They're probably running this all the way before snapping it on second down. Wentz defers to Clement. And yeah, this will be a pickup of four here up to their own 20. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to play it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I put the word big in. And that's caught inside the 35. Good work, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. Go, go. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A run, it's Clement. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. And come on, it's done. Once again, it's Clement. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. You and now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Wins the throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Troy Flowers picks it. 30. The 20. And he will attack this one home. It's a touchdown. This game has been defensively oriented. On both sides, I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. Right. Anytime we have a defensive right. battle, but that, it, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play, and the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got.
Still an important piece of business to take care of the extra point. And that will make this a four point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. Then now the kick is away. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line. Let's go! Here we go, here we go. The Eagles hey. offense set to begin their next drive. And Watch last time, decent field three. position through the pick six. That'd be so costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they have good, good, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. It's like we better with the football in this position. So that's why it didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As a clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. They look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Wentz is going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Elliott good with a PAT. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a cover from behind victory. That time, a six-play drive. Nobody's home. Philadelphia in the end zone. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Go, Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good start and field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And now here comes their final timeout. As they take it with eight ticks remaining. The following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 14. He's back to throw. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. And a complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. One last shot for Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Eagles, it's a 10th win of the year now as they move to 10 and 4. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, the loss might.